Hmm. So I decided to watch this video. Hmm. Wise choice. Well, it will be time lapse how I made this illustration. Oh no, actually this illustration. And it took together about six to eight hours. And you will see all the other important information in the video. So let's start by talking about reference, because reference is, as we all know, the most important thing. Well, you know how my picture already looks like, so I'm just gonna show you my reference sheet. I know it's kind of strange, but you will get used to it. So then I started just with creating a sphere and get basic shapes done. <laughs> For start, I was using just a uh, polygonal modeling and with not that high resolution and basic subdivide modifier, sub basic subdiv subdivide modifier. After basic shapes were done, I went right to sculpting and most for most of the time I was using Dyne topology actually, but honestly I wouldn't recommend to do that. <laughs> uh, maybe it uh, works for you, but I wasn't very happy with it. And next time I would use a bit different approach. I also noticed that Blender is very slow with it and that's very problematic for me. I really hate it. Jesus, I hate when my software doesn't work as fast as it can. Which it actually did, but well, all right. I'm just talking bullshit right now, so let's keep it. Well, after I have uh, done basic shapes and uh, increased resolution, I went to do something some more details in there. I sculpted mouth and nose. For nose I needed to find another reference because uh, I figured out that I actually don't have idea how nose looks like of mouse. I have some idea how my nose uh, looks like but not the mouse one. And ears are the same. Right there it's honestly starting to look more like a dobby the home... how is it? The hobby... The hobby, ah, wonderful fancy, great work. I meant Dobby from Harry Potter, I'm pretty sure that you know what I'm talking about. Well, now it's, I guess, good idea to start speaking about what I meant with this image and with this creature especially. Uh, well, I don't know exactly what kind of race or creature it should be. Uh, well, for me it was just some creature a bit mouse-like, very similar to mouse, that is got when she's doing something she shouldn't, something something she shouldn't, but still she is caught by something very evil. I wanted uh, the viewer who will see that image, that illustration, to feel that uh, mouse, that mouse is very scared and it has a very good reason to be scared actually. <laughs> so uh, I made a close in uh, Marvel's designer which I am sorry I wasn't able to record. I did actually at work but don't tell my boss. Yeah. Well and the next thing I needed to do were shoes and I actually hate doing shoes. I honestly hate modeling shoes. I don't know why but it's for me the hardest part of, part of uh, character. But this time I decided that I need to practice it and model it from scratch in a blender. Normally I would just download it from anywhere I could. I know the shoe is uh, not something you would give price for, but it works, right? It doesn't need to be something fancy. Uh, then I went to texturing. I used uh, skin, which you have a link in the description because I have stole it as any good artist. And then uh, for uh, for eyes, I have used uh, Okomux. I hope that I am saying how it should be said. Uh, also, we have a link in the description. It's for free. It's a very good material. Material you can have some pretty nice results with it. Um, then I went to or I went to uh, do posing. Which was, uh, which can be very time consuming, but not if you use Mixamo. Mixamo is pretty great tool. Uh, it's from Adobe. I know it's great, but it's from Adobe. Keep calm. <laughs> and 
it let you automatically rig your character and then you they have also a library of pretty good um, animations that you can apply to it which is exactly what i did here and then started real compositing uh, for that shadow or that evil thing that caught our little mouse was actually uh, I used actually Susan <laughs> don't I used actually Susan and just give her some uh, pointy thing pointy things pointy part of bodies that it looks like she is very evil because more most of the times edgy things and pointy things uh, looks pretty dangerous to us it makes sense because most of the uh, most of the teeth from uh, animals that are dangerous to us are pretty pointy and pretty sharp all right then and i added some uh, red color or red light to the shadow because red in most of co most cultures are actually consider is actually considered very evil too so that's about it i used i'm not sure what i used if i used ev or cycles for final rendering but i actually think that it is ev yeah I'm pretty sure that it is Eevee. I rendered it with Eevee and then went to Photoshop to do some final post-production which was actually just increasing gamma and some of the colors. I decreased a bit of uh, that red because it was too obvious that it's just the light added there. And I wanted more like a red shadow. So that was done in, f in Photoshop which you can see on the screen and that's about it. Alright, now I hope you liked it and if you have any question feel free to write in comments. If you would like to have more time lapse commented videos like this, feel free to say so and that's about it. Um I don't know how to end the video. <clears throat>